One of my favorite movies of all time is The Natural. Roy Hobbs, played by Robert Redford, said that all that he ever wanted when he walked down the street was for people to turn and say, that's the best hitter I've ever saw, I've ever seen. I'm paraphrasing a little bit because it's applicable for our next inductee. My friend and former teammate, Phil Stevenson, is next on the docket, born and raised in Guthrie, Oklahoma, played with Wichita State from 79 to 82. Hit in an NCAA record 47 straight games. NCAA Player of the Year. First team All-American not once, but twice. He was a three-time All-Valley selection and named only one of the three greatest college baseball players of the 20th century by Collegiate Baseball Magazine. Played 14 years of professional baseball, including four seasons in the big leagues. I tell you what halls of fame he's in, but it would take us all night long, and I don't have oxygen up here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my friend, Phil Stevenson, the newest member into the Kansas Sports Hall of Fame. Well, first off, I'd like to tell Ted and uh, his committee uh, what a wonderful honor this is for me to be up here tonight. Uh, I, too, am extremely humbled by all the, uh, the greatness that I'm surrounded by, not only you know, in, in baseball, but also in many other sports that are up here. And I uh, really enjoyed the opportunity to tour the museum today. Uh, I, I was not aware of all the different people that have been inducted and, and the things that have gone on with, with the Kansas Sports Hall of Fame. So it was, it was a lot of fun today just to walk around and and in fact, I got stopped by Bruce's wife, and I still need to go back to it and tour it again, if that's okay, and, and uh, take a look around. But uh, as Bruce mentioned, I'm, I'm originally from Guthrie, Oklahoma. Uh, my brother Gene, who's here tonight, started Wichita State Baseball uh, in the spring of 1978. And, you know, he, he wasn't sure he wanted me to play here. But I think an assistant coach named Terry Jolly uh, convinced him that that was a pretty good idea. And I got pretty convinced, too, after coming up here and, and playing in the summertime with a couple of the, the guys who were going to be my teammates and got an opportunity to, to be a part of a very special <laughs> class of people that were recruited to come here. And uh, believe it or not, Bruce was one of them. And uh, that, that included Joe Carter. Uh, Charlie O'Brien, uh, Don Heifel, who I believe, if I'm not mistaken, still holds the uh, career record for victories in NCAA history. And a guy named Jim Thomas, who many of you know is an assistant coach at Wichita State, who probably should have got some time in the big leagues as well. Uh, but that was a pretty good class that I had an opportunity to be a part of for the most part of four years. And was also surrounded by some great players and some pretty bad opponents that we had an opportunity to, uh, to play and beat up on a little bit that probably helped to play a few of those numbers along the way. But, you know, I, I, I stand up here and, and uh, Bruce mentioned a bunch of the different Hall of Fames that I've um, got an opportunity to be a part of, but each one of them is very special uh, in its own right and involves so many different people, and, and especially this one because it involves so many people from the state of Kansas uh, who achieve things in the state of Kansas, but also outside the state. And the fact that it's, it's, it's been here for such a long time and, and to be included with this group is, is very special to me. My, my family apologizes, they couldn't make it here this evening. Um, not that Dodge City's that far away, but uh, when you have young children sometimes, they have activities they don't want to give up. So I went ahead and uh, told them to stay and do the things that they needed to get taken care of. But I am uh, happy that I did have some family here today. Of course, my brother Gene's here, um, his son Jay, uh, my brother-in-law Jim is here, my father-in-law Brian, and of course, the, all the people from Wichita State that have supported me over the years. Um, appreciate them being here also today. Um, Many of you know the Taj Mahal that's out there now at, uh, on 21st Street that uh, sits out there that's uh, known as X Stadium Tyler Field. 
Bruce, what do we have for a locker room? A car. A car. That's exactly right. <laughs> and uh, Ronald, you talked about uh, the locker room, camaraderie, and all that stuff. We had it in the car. That's exactly <laughs> where we had it. When we went to the locker room, it was to fight the football players for our uniforms. They thought they were pretty cool to wear around campus. So, uh, but I wouldn't have traded it for the world. It was a tremendous experience. You know, our, our, our 82 team was the first Wichita State team to make it to the College World Series. And before you ask, yes, I am the guy that got picked off. Okay? You don't have to bring it up when I get off the stage, Bruce. And, uh, all that stuff. Yes, that was me, and I made the cardinal mistake of not finding the baseball. And, but if ESPN would start paying me royalties, I could retire. That's what I would wish. So, uh, but once again, I, I'm, I'm very humbled to be up here uh, tonight and extremely proud to be a part of this class and all the people that are in it. And I leave you with one thing. If you know of any great baseball players that are in high school, we have a decent facility at Dodge City. Um, Wyatt Earp is dead. The roads are paved, and we do have a McDonald's. So it's not as bad a place as everybody wants to make it out to be. So uh, once again, thank you very much. Uh, having a great time, and, and enjoyed every minute of this. Thank you.